Hi, my name is Kirk Howell from Plates London. Today we're going to be cooking wild garlic gnocchi with toasted pumpkin seed pesto using cracks for no egg egg. So we're going to pop two desiri potatoes into the oven at 190 degrees. So we've got the two cooked desiri potatoes. We're just going to cut those in half now. And it's really important with gnocchi that you keep the potatoes nice and hot. Don't let the potatoes cool down too much, um, otherwise you'll get very starchy potatoes and that will affect your gnocchi. So as soon as they are cooked, scrape them out. I'm just going to pass them through the sieve. So you can see all the steam is coming off the potatoes. That's exactly what we want at this stage. And then we grab a bowl potato into the bowl and it's really important that you mix everything straight away while the potato is hot. This is very very key. So we're going to go with the flour in and then the spinach and wild garlic sauce and cracked the no egg egg. And about half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to mix that. See, it's all coming together now. And you don't want to overwork the gnocchi because that will also end up quite starchy. So as you can see, we've got quite a bright green dough there. So we've got the gnocchi mix done. Now we're going to make the pumpkin seed pesto. So we've got pesto and mortar, pumpkin seeds in, a little pinch of salt. And always grind the pumpkin seeds first before you add the oil. oil in. A little zest of lemon, about one quarter of a lemon worth. And then a little squeeze of lemon. Okay, so now we're going to roll out the gnocchi. So you want to add a little bit of flour onto your board just to help it not to stick. Now we've just rolled out the gnocchi, like so. And now we're just gonna cut some nice pieces. And then we're just gonna gently score them. So we've got a little pan of water on here for the spinach and the wild garlic. So we're just gonna add a little pinch of salt. And Add a teaspoon of olive oil. It's really important when you're cooking gnocchi that you get the water to boil quite vigorously first before you add the gnocchi into the pan. Adding the gnocchis into the water. As you can see, it is boiling. Really important that your water is boiling. So we're going to cook the gnocchis for about two, two and a half minutes. We've got our vegan cheese and we've got some fresh spinach leaves that we're just gonna naturally just pick off and we've got some beautiful fresh wild garlic. Just gonna add the spinach in and the wild garlic. Literally we're just wilting this we don't want to cook it too much and keep it nice and fresh. Okay, that's it and then out. So always before you pull them all out, just check one. That's always the best thing to do. So I'll just pull one out and I'll just cut that in half and just check. Okay, so now we're going to drain the water from the gnocchi. So we've got the gnocchi in the pan on a low heat. I'm just going to add the pesto. add our spinach and wild garlic and then just gently bring that together. So it's really important you don't want to mix it too much because we don't want to break the gnocchis, we want to keep them all in a nice shape. So now we're going to start to plate the dish. Be super delicate with the gnocchi. I spent all that time making it 
nice and delicious. We don't want to ruin it at this point. Okay, and then I'm going to drizzle a little bit of extra pesto over the top. And a couple of wild garlic. And then to finish off, a little bit of grated vegan cheese. So there we have it, a delicious wild garlic gnocchi with pumpkin seed pesto made with cracked, the no egg egg.